In this segment, I'm going to show you how to tie a sucker spawn. Right, you might say, well, I know how to tie a sucker spawn. And a lot of people very well do. It's not a difficult pattern, but I'm going to show you a way to keep the waist down to almost nothing. All my suckers spawn to use a bright contrasting thread, which is fire orange. I'm going to start my thread base near the back and then just wrap up. I'm going to tie this probably in reverse of what everybody's used to tie it like. I'd rather you get a big skein of the Angora, which I use, 100% Angora, or the cards. Okay. 3 yards, 72 yards, whatever. Instead of cutting small pieces and trying to work with that and tying it in at the back and flipping it back and forth, I'm going to show you how to tie it in from the front. And that way you can keep all of your yarn all together, no trimming pieces to work with, cutting way back on waist. What we're going to do is we're going to double this up. We're going to keep the excess down and off to our left and hang it down off the vise. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim this flush to get a nice start. And my thread is just behind the eye of the hook. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep these right at the eye and hold your material as close as possible. That's going to give you control of not sending the material down around the hook. Go ahead and catch that and pretty much make a thread head. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start a series of our loops. Now, to judge my loop size, I go just a touch smaller than the gap of the hook. And I just take my scissors, slide it in there, and make my thread wraps keep the pressure tight work your way back now this is where we're just going to come in here we're going to trim that off and just lightly gather that and then apply your pressure and tie the rest of that down and then we're just going to work our way up through the loops and finish off at the head and you can add a tail to this if you wish it's up to you and we didn't I'm just going to do a whip finish two of those there you have it that's how I tie sucker spawn. Thank you. You can find all the materials at dfranksflies.com. Fly tying pages under materials.